Hey Pro Traders, so TL Turner here from pipsovermoney.com as well as forexfreedomfast.com. Now what you're looking at is a snapshot of the most recent trades that the newest of my members have taken on their live trading accounts. And so a part of what I do as a coach slash mentor slash um, trainer is that I work with my students to master this craft of trading. I work with them on going through their trades on an individual basis. They can schedule um, what I call office hours with me and we can really break down and drill down so that we can figure out where the, uh, the challenge is in their trading. And just quickly by looking at this, here's why you need a mentor. Someone can see what you're not able to see. By quickly looking at these trades, I can tell that this person has not only an issue with their timing, but they have a confidence issue. And the reason that I say that they have a confidence issue is because when we look at the trades that they're closing out in profit, those trades are smaller than the trades that they're closing out and at a loss with respective volume uh, as far as like uh, and of course on this trade it is the us 30 so the volume and and trading is a little bit different however if we're seeing uh this particular loss here of 15 dollars this particular win of four dollars this win here okay if we compare this and this this is where the problem is in this in this um this student's trading is that for uh, their wins, they're taking quick wins. They're not focusing on the quality of the trade. And so what we're also gonna do is actually go to one of these trades. We're gonna pick the GBP JPY trade that was executed on the first. And we're gonna literally break this trade down so that it can be forever broken down and you can get some value out of this uh, training session. So. Just so you're aware, I do offer performance enhancement consultations, one-on-one -on -one consultations. You can get a block of four hours. You can use that over the course of a week, a course of a month, or the course of a year, however um, serious you are. And for the people that are lucky enough, this is what we do. We go over your trades so that we can really itemize what it is that you need to work on so that you have a real gaming uh, game plan. I was going to say gaming plan. A lot of times, traders don't have... Uh, feedback on their trades the only feedback that they have is the the profit and loss which is great feedback however we need to really drill down and reverse engineer the trade so we can understand what you are seeing that caused you to take that action so let's jump quickly into the gbp jpy trade from february the 1st So now we're on the actual chart and we're going to break down what could have made this trade better based on a higher level or reverse engineering view. We're going to just discuss where the actual error in the trade was so that you can prevent from or avoid having to make the same mistakes over and over in your trading. Again, this is something that we do with our students that are in our Forex Freedom Fast boot camp where we will literally go through your last 10 trades and make sure that we are correcting your trading errors and nipping them in the bud and not uh, letting bad behaviors continue on. So on the screen we have the trading parameters that this student executed these trades on. So we did a buy at of, uh, with a lot size of 0.20 on 2-1, um, 2-1-22. And then we also have the entry and the exit time. Now I do have a highlighted area that we want to go over. However, let's just backtrack because one of the one of the interesting things about this trade is that eventually the trade direction and bias was correct. One of the main things that we need to fix with this particular uh, student is just timing and confidence. The confidence portion from the, uh, the behavior of closing out your wins is smaller than you close out your losses. That's something that we can definitely fix. Um, and then the timing issue will come from having a trade, uh, a plan for the trade before you execute it. So let's discuss this orange area here. Let's just zoom in right off the bat. 
one of the issues with this trade is that if we were to go back just a little bit in time based on more recent price action if this is the candle that we entered on this blue candle here we did have an immediate rejection level here right at this green level and so uh, we saw that this particular student was in this trade for five minutes uh, so they bought and after basically in this area between these two candles the market started to go down and so they closed out and so here's what you can use to make this a better trade is just looking for a stronger piece of price action information to be consistent with the idea that the trade is going to uh, work out or you have a better probability of the trade working out now you have a couple of different levels in here which to me are very interesting to execute the trade from however because the market is in this particular range i don't have anything that gives me the indication that this trade is a go now keep in mind my particular bias is that this trade was either executed on a one minute chart or a five minute chart and even on the the one hour chart I don't see a reason to execute this trade at this level okay uh, looking at the previous price action yes this made a higher high but looking at the composition of this particular trade um, or these particular candles in here it could have been a reversal signal to take it back down here which it technically did on the candle directly after the entry candle and so nothing in here is giving me confidence to execute a buy right we don't have any sort of price action agreement or confirmation as some traders would say to execute a buy right and even the it's a great thing that they closed this trade out um, when they did however just paying attention to when uh, this trade would have been ready to to execute that trade so let's just really zoom in here because this comes down to fundamental trading and when I say fundamental I don't mean based on the news I mean learning the basics and the fundamental values of trading which comes down to price action and planning the trade and so none of this in here is a reason to execute the trade the only potential reason to execute the trade would have been this particular um, this particular candle but even still just looking on the overall makeup of these candles you can see that this is still consolidation okay and so this candle does nothing for me it closed below the wick of this candle this candle was bearish and so if I'm going into this trade with uh with a bias that the market is going to go up my main goal is to time it and uh, participate when the market is in agreement with that and so we don't have market agreement yet and even this some traders might have seen this as a um uh which barely but some traders would have said oh this is an engulfing candle it's not good enough right look at where the market closed it came back down closed lower than this week closed lower than this week closed lower than this week closed lower than that week and so still you have this this setup here which is a three candle um three candle pattern gave you an indication that this market was going to go down how long we don't know however the market went right back down to the level that it had previously used as a small support and then pulled away from and so i still don't have any reason right some traders could have seen this as a railroad candle this is a better entry area uh however to me i don't like how this wick is is short uh i don't like how the wick is going up into um it, or the body didn't feel this particular wick so still nothing yet now this candle these two it's like another railroad type of situation right and so i could see why one would enter here after this sell-off and then this complete reversal and you do have more of a wick peeking out of this zone area so the market could be giving us an indication that it wants to continue higher and it did break out 
right? It broke out and then we have the market come back in. And if we pay attention to this area, because this is the area for me where it becomes more clearly, and I'm going to switch it to a line chart in just a second. However, I can see this W formation right off the base of these uh, of this area and kind of technically this area. And so for me, this is the best entry on a buy for this particular market movement for this this pair and so we didn't really get a buy um signal for a longer term move keep in mind all throughout this time you could have gotten in a buy you could have gotten a sell you could have gotten you could have been in profit you could have been out of profit trading isn't always about the entry it's about the trade as a whole it's about when you get out right and so through all of this, yes, uh, this, this student could have held this trade and eventually been correct in the bias. However, if we're going to pinpoint the best entries with the, the minimal with minimal drawdown, with the with the best possible timing, we're going to look for something that gives us more of a uh, reason to believe that the market is in agreement with that bias. And so just seeing this, because it is one of my favorite patterns, we had a uh, funky M formation followed by a w formation so to me this area would have been a much better area to execute your buy from okay and if you if you're having a hard time seeing that w formation i'm just going to quickly switch it to a line chart and you can see here where this is a wide swinging w however the market never came back and closed below the second leg or the second pivot point of that W and then it just took off used this area as a little bit of support before it bounced up even higher and so that would be my feedback for this particular trade is just waiting on a reason to execute this trade and even if you would have entered here right you got uh, a railroad pattern here railroad pattern some would consider this to be here even if you would have entered here and uh, you would have been almost immediately in profit after a few hours. But even when the market came back to this area, it didn't close below uh, the, this candle here. So holding this trade to see what happened within a few hours, you would have been back in profit and then deep in profit within a day or so. So that would be my feedback on this trade is just practicing timing practicing waiting on a reason to enter the trade and really just being disciplined and knowing that even if you have a great trading idea it may chances are it could play out we just have to give it give the market room to breathe and to develop so if you got some value from this video definitely leave a thumbs up comment let me know um again we offer personal sessions so that we can really get to the meat and potatoes of what's holding you back in your trading. You can do a one-on-one -on -one with me and we can analyze your recent trades. Uh, the market does give us feedback, but sometimes it's a little bit hard, hard to interpret the feedback, right? It's kind of like having a dream and not having the resources or tools to interpret what that dream could mean to us. And so that's what you have in me as someone that's I'm a dream interpreter. I'm a trade interpreter. I can read the chart and help you to make sense of where you need to focus your energy and effort in improving your trading. So if that sounds like something that's interesting to you, you can apply for the trading bootcamp at forexfreedomfast.com. Would love to see you on the other side. All right, take care.